Good morning, everybody. My name is Ricardo Gonzalez. This is my teammates, Alejandro Diaz, Oswaldo Fernandez, and Christian Ramos. We will be presenting our senior design project, which is the development of the 2015 Formula SAE chassis and suspension. Our advisor for this project is Professor Tremonte. On the agenda for today, I'm going to be going over the background of our project as well as the literature survey. Alejandro will walk you through uh, project scope as well as the design process. Oswaldo will introduce our preliminary goals as well as the proposed design for this project. And Christian will finish it all off with the global impact of our project. So, as a background, we'll start off with what is the Society of Automotive Engineers? So, SAE is an international professional organization that concerns itself with the development of standards for various industries. Formula SAE, on the other hand, is a design competition that's held by SAE International that allows each of its collegiate chapters to, to act as an imaginary company. This company's goal is to design a formula style open wheel race car for the average weekend racer. Now this race car has to adhere to a certain set of strict competition rules and will be judged based on various factors such as cost, design, performance, and efficiency. Generally, teams design their frames either out of a uh, carbon fiber monocoque or a steel tubular space frame. And the suspension is of a double wishbone design with either a push or pull rod actuation for the spring. Alondra? So, when developing a Formula SAE prototype vehicle, um, these six systems need to be taken into account. Chassis, suspension, powertrain, ergonomics, aerodynamics, and drivetrain. For our project, we've decided to do the chassis and suspension, which integrates all these components. So, a uh, little design process uh, when developing a Formula SAE vehicle. First, we start off with the first point, contact point to the ground uh, with relation to the vehicle, which is the tire. First, we'll start by analyzing tire data. Tires uh, are all made out of rubber, but each rubber is made out of different uh, compounds, so that's why each tire reacts different. So first we choose, analyze data and choose uh, a few tires. Then we, with this, we can develop the, uh, the point or the geometry of the suspension with relation to the tire. Then from there, we pick the suspension hard pickup points, which is where the suspension is connected to the actual chassis. Then we'll place in space all the major components, driver, differential engine of the vehicle. Then we kind of just basically build the suspension around all those components, almost like the rib cage of the body. Then after that, we optimize based on our goals. Um, looking at, well, Osvaldo will talk about all our optimizations, and then we just test and fine tune. All right, so some of our preliminary goals for our project are to reduce weight of both systems, increase the torsion rigidity of our chassis, as well as optimize design for future wheel grow efforts. We will also like to optimize the design for manufacturing purpose and ease of assembly, uh, increase suspension tunability, as well as, as develop other innovative features for our, for our project. Here we have our proposed design. One of the main goals of our project is to reduce the overall vehicle envelope, so basically make the car smaller, as small as we can. And as for the rules, you're allowing minimum wheelbase of 16 inch wheelbase is the mid-plane distance from the front tire to the rear tire, so how long your, your car is basically. And from there we use these set of equations to come up with our front and rear track. Front and rear track is distance left to right, right wheel to left wheel, right person. And we come up with these numbers. We've run lap simulations, as you can see on the right hand side over here. And you can see that the top, the top uh, image shows our current proposed diameters, the diameters, uh, I'm sorry, the parameters that you see here. And you can see in the little uh, yellow, uh, golden square, you can see that our, the proposed design is one second faster around the, uh, the track. The way we did this, <clears throat> the way we did this, we used a lap simulation uh, simulator online, and we tried to make a controlled test, so we kept all parameters the same. The only thing we, we changed were these parameters right here. So, although more testing is needed and more um, more simulation is required. This gives us an idea that we're on the right track, we're moving in the right direction in terms of our design. Okay, so how does this uh, tie in with the local uh, aspects of the motorsport industry? Um, as we know, there are different constraints based on design uh, criteria, and these uh, rules and regulations will normally push teams to find innovative solutions for uh, these uh, obstacles. Uh, right now, the industry is set more towards uh, improving 
efficiency in vehicles, and uh, because we are uh, participating in a global, uh, international, um, sorry, because we're participating in an international uh, competition, we are given the opportunity to uh, network with other teams around the world, and because of this, uh, we have access to SAE journals and papers, which ultimately unite the previous endeavors of other teams, and uh, we can share the, um, the, the, the engineering development. We've already built um, about two rolling chassis, so we of course want to make our costs uh, significantly cheaper or a little cheaper. But um, generally, the chassis would have cost about a thousand dollars, and then depending what material selection we uh, choose for our suspension arms, probably about another five hundred dollars, which is significantly cheaper than the rest of the, year, the team. But we'll, we'll present all that in um, later presentations throughout the uh, next semester, um, just comparing costs between other teams, our team, and then what we've done the past two years, three years. So it's, we're going to probably try to be all Could I see uh, your slide on the division of labor and on the timeline? We don't have one. Sorry, you need to have one. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. You need timeline? I, I mean, everybody needs, uh, everyone needs timeline, okay. uh, cost analysis, yeah. task division. We have a good student include it. Yeah, yeah, you yes. should. Because uh, you have a question on that. Yes, okay. yes. And uh, you need to see this IAB evaluation form on the website. It's on the first week's uh, link. We are sending them again. Yeah, once again, I'll send you okay. and check each access. Thank you. What are the materials you're considering? So, for our chassis, we're, we're going to consider uh, 4130, which is chromoly, space grade tubing. For the rules, the uh, wall thickness of the tubes need to be uh, specified and inserted for the front and main, uh, main ropes and the harness bar, which is where you connect the seat to. Um, and for suspension, we are um, exercising using aluminum for the ARs, or maybe stick to the traditional chromoly, depending on analysis and weight. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.